Hello, this is David with entry number 377 coming at you here before school uh, and using unidirectional natural lighting source which would be the window open. So well, apologies if this seems dark but uh, I've chosen not to use uh, the artificial light source, which is the light, which is right here, uh, or right here. Um, and there's one in front of the camera as well, but that's a cam light and it's not very good. Um, I thought I'd record early because I'm very tired, and I thought I'd record something while I was like this, in this state. And it is a state, being tired. It's a negative state, I think because um, being tired, I think, leads to a lot of rumination, a lot of ruminating. And um, if you're familiar with that term, it means to uh, think in a positive light, in a, no, not a positive, in a negative light. It, mean, it, 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 it causes, I think, the individual to see the world in, negative, in a negative view. Um, most of the time, when I'm very tired, and I think most people, when they get very tired, they see, they begin to see the world not as it is, uh, not as it truly is, but, but as, um, but as a place of pain and suffering. And that may sound dramatic, uh, but pain and suffering doesn't necessarily have to be torture you know, slavery and all that kind of stuff. It can just be not good. The opposite of, not the opposite of good, just not good. Not bad, just not good. Um, I don't know if you understand that concept, but hopefully if you've ever been in a state of, of uh, exhaustion, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, and why I feel tired is one, I stayed up relatively late on Saturday, and two, I'm, I am uh, fairly confident I'm either vitamin D deficient or I am suffering from black mold uh, poisoning, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of those two uh, because my diet is not uh, as good as it was um, back in the States. Not that it's terrible, it's just not balanced. I don't really eat that much, really, per se. Um, maybe about 17 to 1800 calories a day. And um, I exercise regularly. I go to sleep usually by around 10 and wake up usually around 6.30. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not habitual. It's not because I'm doing things that are going to make me tired. I think it really has to do with something external. A certain variable that is um, kind of out of my control. Uh, the black mold thing is a bit troubling, although I won't have long-term exposure, like t over five or six years, so I don't really think that's going to be a problem long-term. I know, I know there are some cases where people get cancer, but usually that's from long-term exposure, not from just a year or two of uh, exposure to the to the spores. So um, I'm not too worried about that, and you know I could do things to change. I could get supplements or whatever, and, or start eating more dark leafy green vegetables to get more iron and vitamin D. But uh, I th actually, it's not. I, I thought, if I said vitamin D before, I meant iron. It's an iron deficiency. Um, and you know the the way um, the way your your blood works is uh, in order for it to 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 properly uh, function, there's a, there's, a, there's a thing in it called hemoglobin, and that kind of is the thing that binds oct to oxygen, I think, and so if you're not getting enough iron, it kind of fucks up your, your hemoglobin ability so that your, uh, your, your blood isn't able to retain as much oxygen and therefore you're, you're tired. Uh, people with sickle cell anemia and, and, and anemic in general often have issues with their uh, hemoglobin uh, uh, function. 
or uh, effectiveness. So um, I think that's probably what it is. Although it just could be this is kind of my body's way of telling me I need more sleep as well. So you know I'm not not exactly sure sure what it is, but um, yeah you know at this point this is not like I'm depressed or anything, but the way I feel now is how I feel when I'm depressed. I'm just very exhausted and tired, and um, it's not a good feeling. So I just thought I'd make a make an honest and true entry today about how I feel. So it's about time for me to leave for work, so I'll stop it here. Thanks for watching. This has been Entry 367... 77? 77? I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.